Hello friends, this video on Polymers part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we'll talk about some of the important polymers that is prepared using step growth polymerization reaction. We'll talk about polyamides, polyamide we'll talk about nylon 6, C6 and nylon 6. We'll talk about the polyester preparation. In polyester, we'll talk about the preparation of terylene, lactal. We'll talk about the preparation of phenol formaldehyde, also called bakelite. And we'll talk about the preparation of melanin. All these polymers preparation we'll see. The first is the polyamide polyamide nylon 66. Why polyamide? Because the monomer is amide. We have seen this actually reaction. This is again a step growth reaction. This is prepared by the condensation polymerization of hexamethylene diamine with adipic acid under high pressure and high temperature. So we have seen this is adipic acid. And four of these. So, adipic acid, hexamethylene diamine, hexamethylene six, diamine. That's why it's called amide. Okay. And uh, high temperature, almost 500 Kelvin, high pressure. This will undergo step growth reaction. We will form nylon 66. This OH. This OH will react with this hydrogen and this OH will react with this one. Okay, so it will form what? CO4. CH2O CO and then NH CH26 and then which nylon 66 why 66 six molecules of carbon six molecules of carbon used to make bristles of this toothbrush also used to make nylon fabric for textile the next is nylon 6 nylon 6 is prepared by heating caprolactam please remember this reaction with uh, water at high pressure. So caprolactam is actually, uh, the, the shape is a little different. So please remember this reaction. This is a little different reaction. Shape. This is caprolactam. Six carbon, one, two, three, four, five, six carbon, one nitrogen, hydrogen is formed during caprolactam. So when you heat this at a high temperature, almost 5 or 40 Kelvin, and in presence of water, you get nylon 66. This bond breaks actually. There's a bond that breaks in this direction. You get CO, CO2, 5. H, N of these, this is called nylon 6. This is used to make ropes, ropes, fabric, and also tire cord. If you see the tire, actually, it is not just rubber, it has a lot of cords like this. This okay. to give extra strength to the tire. If you see the internal structure of the tire, there's a lot of rod, uh, there's cords like this. This tire cords are made of nylon six. Okay. The next is sterilene, it's a type of polyester, also called dacron. And this is prepared by heating dimethyl. Cherry petalite with ethane diol or ethane glycol at a high temperature of almost 570 Kelvin in the presence of metal oxide. So I will show you this reaction. This is cherry petalite, so I have a benzene ring here. I have COCS3 on both sides. Okay. 
Okay, this then react with ethene diol. This is ethene CH to CH two two O all on both sides ethene diol. It forms this product. Here, what happens is. This will react. This one of these hydrogen will react with two oxygen to form water, water molecule. In fact, this whole CH3 and OH right, will come out. This whole thing will react. CH3 OH will come out. So the final product, if you see, will do what? CH3O CO is benzene going. COO, then CH3OH came out CH2CH2OH. And this actually, a lot of these will, N of these, N number of these will actually polymerize. And in polymerization, one hydrogen will come from here and one OH will come from here. And water molecule will come as y product, and what you get is CH2COCO. This will be blue. CO, CH2, CH2. Okay, because this OH and one of these hydrogen will come out to form bond and CH2 will form bond with another and N of these will form polymer called terylene. Huge molecular mass, 15, almost 15,000 units. High tensile strength. Since it has high tensile strength, used to make a row. This is also used to make sails in the sailing board. This is used to make tent because tents are also it has to be strong. Right? It should be a, it should withstand huge uh, air or huge wind. Here also the tire cord, this tire cord also needs similar property polymer that is high tensile strength. So here also this terally not bacteron is used. The next kind of polyester is glass, also called alkyd resin. Okay, so this is formed by the condensation of polyhydric alcohol. For example, ethane diol it has it use you know alcohol and base they react. So this is polyhydric alcohol. It will react with poly basic acid or even anhydride. Okay, so you can take polyhydric alcohol like ethane diol and poly basic poly basic acid like alic acid or even you can take anhydride here. And this anhydride can be uh, thalic anhydride. Right? So, when alcohol reacts with acid or anhydride here, this polyester, this glyptol is formed. I will show you one reaction. So, I have taken ethane diol, CH2, CH2, OH on both sides, ethane diol, and react with the uh, Poly basic alcohol, CH, and then CH. Okay, so it reacts it's O and OH. From this OH and this H. Okay, and this OH and this. This will form bone. Then these will form OH and so OH and H. Okay, so with this, if you see, the final product will be O CH2 CH2. There is an O here, there is a CO here. Okay. And there is a more. CO here 
and of these. And they also fall apart. Okay? This is used to make cements, paints. In cements and paint, this black tool is used. Talk about the next polymer is bakelite. Bakelite is also called phenol formaldehyde. Okay. So as the name suggests, it is formed from the condensate reaction of phenol and formaldehyde. In the presence of catalyst, it can be acid or basic catalyst. Okay. This is actually the oldest synthetic polymers, bakelite. So I take phenol and formaldehyde, so let me take phenol. This is phenol. Formaldehyde is CUS, formaldehyde. Okay. And it reacts in the presence of acid or basic medium. To form something like this. Okay. Now, n of these, in fact, it can also form this. Uh, anyway. Now, n number of these will actually, in the presence of this uh, acidic medium, will form one like this. H means H means H2 and more phenol like this. Okay? And this is called noble egg. And this is used in paint. Now this noble egg actually when you heat again with formaldehyde it will undergo cross linking. So this again, this again when you heat with formaldehyde. So it will undergo cross linking. So cross-linking it forms something like this. There's an OH here, CH2. This is same till now. Okay? Now it will form a cross-linking. A more of so it will form a cross-linking. Okay? And this is CH2 here. CH2 here, CH2 here, it will be OH here. If you see there is a cross link, and this kind of cross link provides extra strength to this back line, and that's why it's very hard, very tough. It is used to make this handle of the utensils, also used to make electrical switches. Okay. The next is melamine. Melamine uh, is again a formaldehyde polymer. Like uh, bakelite. And this is also very hard. This is almost unbreakable uh, utensils we make out of this. And this is formed by condensation of melamine and formaldehyde. So melamine and formaldehyde, when you condensation, you get this melamine formal. So we see the melamine structure. Melamine is something like this. Nitrogen carbon, nitrogen carbon. Then it has. Okay. And then double bonds. So carbon one to three, four bond. Carbon one to three, four bond. Like this. This is melamine. Now this melamine will react with formaldehyde. It will form something like this. First on the structure. Nitrogen carbon. Double bond here. Here, double bond. Here this NH2. Then this will react with formaldehyde. CH2. This NH2 was there already, this NH2 was already there. Okay, 
This is a resin intermediate. This is a resin, this is an intermediate. Now when you do a polymerization of this, actually the polymerization doesn't happen on this directly, you get this intermediate. When you do a polymerization of this, so what you get is all these double bonds are broken. So these double bonds actually helps in forming uh, more bonds. Right? So you see here. Uh, See this NH CH2 because the one water molecule will come from here like this. So this NH2 will become NH. Right? And from this also one bond will go off. But this also will form a bond with another, another molecule here. And form structure like this. This is used to make unbreakable crockery. Melamine. You must have seen this kind of crockery in your home. Unbreakable property, used uh, created by melamine and formaldehyde. Okay. Now, as I told, there are two kind of polymerization reactions we have discussed about this: homopolymerization and copolymerization. So, homopolymerization is the one in which one homo or or you can say one monomeric species is used or one monomeric species is polymerized. For example, ethene only one ethene. Or one kind of ethene molecule, there's n number of these ethene molecules polymerized to form polythene. This is something we have discussed just and doing the recap. Right? So the and but if you talk about the copolymerization reaction, so in this copolymerization reaction, what we do is so a mixture of one or more monomeric species is allowed to polymerize. For example, butadiene and styrene to form uh, buna S. So, for example, CH2 double bond, CH, CH double bond, CH2, this is butadiene, this is styrene. So, you see, there are two different types of uh, monomers, and it forms this kind of bond, CH2 double bond, CH, then the double bond form here, CH, CH2, CH. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attend free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.